Welcome to Winning Moments with Pastor Tim Finlayson, pastor of Brevard Worship Center in Malabar, Florida. Pastor Tim has a passion to teach you how to get free and stay free through a relationship with Jesus Christ. So listen with your heart for the next few moments and allow the Word of God to transform you into the winner God has destined for you to become. And now with today's Winning Moments, here is Pastor Tim. Good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Tim Finlayson, and we appreciate so much the people that tune in every day to listen to Winning Moments. And normally, uh, we bring you live into one of our services and uh, let you hear me preaching to my congregation. But today, I want to invite you to a special healing and miracle service that will be at our church, Brevard Worship Center, down in Malabar, Florida. And it's going to be July 23rd and 24th. That's a Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, Sunday night at 7 o'clock, and also Monday night at 7 o'clock. We're going to do a time where I'm going to be preaching the Word of God. The Word of God promises us healing. Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement that we need to obtain peace was upon Him, and with His stripes we are healed. And we're going to talk about the healing power of God in both services, July 23rd and 24th. The Sunday morning, July 23rd, will be at 10 o'clock in the morning. And then we'll come back again that night at 7 o'clock. And then Monday night, we'll be laying hands on people. We'll be ministering people, preaching the Word, because faith comes by hearing, by hearing by the Word of God. And let people know that He is a healing Jesus. So we're going to invite you, come and see a God that heals. He wants you well. It's part of the gospel. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 8, verse 2 says, And behold, a leper came to Jesus and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing... You can make me clean. And Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. I want you to notice something. He had his understanding right. God, I know that you are able. I'm just not sure that you're willing. When you come to these meetings, July 23rd and 24th, when you come to those meetings, you're not, gonna, you're not only going to hear about a God that is able you're going to hear about a God that is willing to meet you right where you are. My father was healed of cancer in 1973 and lived out his life. He had just about six weeks left to live. And, and uh, my mother and father got a hold of God. He got a hold of a God that heals and got the revelation that God wants my father to live and not die and declare the wonderful works of God. My mother has been healed of cancer. We've got testimonies all throughout our family where God has come down and touched us and healed us. Uh, my daughter had an accident uh, where she was kicked in the face by a horse when she was three years old. And they said that she probably wouldn't live through the night. And if she did live, she'd be in a vegetative state for the rest of her life because of the damage to her head. Well, we got a hold of God and believed Him and said, God, you are the God that heals. You're the God that delivers. You're the God that works miracles. And we got the report after they ran test after test after test on my daughter. They came back and said, these reports say that your daughter sh probably won't live through the night. And if she did, she's going to have severe brain trauma. But these latest tests that we've done show that your little girl is going to be okay. <laughs> we're going to put two stitches right here and we'll put two stitches right there. Watch her overnight, but you can take your little girl home in the morning. We serve a God that heals. He opens blind eyes. He unstops deaf ears. He makes the lame to walk. And God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What Jesus did when he walked on this planet, he still wants to do through us and his ministers today. He is a God that heals. He said to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. And he said, now lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. He said, cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely give. This is what Jesus said belongs to us. So we're going to invite you and remind you, July 23rd and 24th. July 23rd is a Sunday morning. We start at 10 o'clock. The praise team will be here, and we'll be, they'll be anointed and ready to take you in the very presence of Almighty God. And I'll be preaching on a God that heals that morning, and we'll be ministering to sick. Sunday night, July 23rd, 7 o'clock, you need to bring your friends and family there. Begin to get on the phone right now and say, listen, we need to get you to this meeting, and it's going to be a powerful time in the Lord. And also Monday, July 
July 24th. Be there for that meeting. We'll be laying hands on everyone. And as we lay hands on people, we'll be using our faith to release the anointing. The anointing is God's power on flesh doing what only God can do. It removes burdens and destroys yokes. And as we lay hands on you, we're expecting the Word of God to be confirmed with signs and wonders. And the Word of God that we'll be preaching on July 23rd and 24th is this, that God is a God that heals. Hallelujah. I can sense the anointing, the presence of God on me even right now just talking about it. So you need to get on the phone. You need to get on the internet. You need to go by and visit some sick folks and bring them to this meeting. I pastor Brevard Worship Center. It's in Malabar, Florida. The address is 6825 Babcock Street, Southeast Malabar, Florida. Or if you'd like more information about our church, you can go to Brevard Worship Center. It's all one word, brevardworshipcenter.org. And you can see the information about service times and those type of things. Or you can even go back on Facebook uh, and look at some of those services and see that we preach a God that heals. This is just not a one-time thing for us. We're, we're having a special meeting and we never talk about the healing power of God. Sunday after Sunday, week after week, month after month, we preach on the goodness of God and people get healed, people get delivered, and people get set free. And so uh, I'm, we're just making this a special time where people in the community can come to our church in Malabar, which is, you know, if you're new to the area, it's in the uh, Palm Bay area of Brevard County, and come and be a part of a God that heals. And so we're excited about that very big time. Uh, Jesus, if you want to know about who God the Father is, look who Jesus is. Jesus is perfect theology. And Jesus never turned anybody away that approached him for healing. He never turned anybody away and said, well, you know, you said, come lay your hands on my daughter and she shall be healed. But you understand today we're touching people. We're, uh, we're anointing claws or we're making mud pies out of spit today. We're not doing that. However, they approach Jesus with their faith. Jesus will respond and say, according to your faith, be it unto you. And so I just want you to get your faith ready right now. Begin to get the healing scriptures out. Come and be a part of these services and hear the Word of God preach. He, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. And as you come, your faith is going to arise and the power of God is going to be present to heal you and set you free by the power of Almighty God. Some of you right now, you're, you may be driving down the road and listening to me. Or you may be uh, getting dressed for work or whatever you, your morning routine is. And um, you've been wondering, God, I, I've been believing God for this for so long. I believe that God has you listening by divine appointment right now to be in these meetings at Brevard Worship Center, July 23rd and 24th. Those special meetings are there just for you. God wants you well. Oil Roberts used to tell us, expect a miracle. And then he expanded that and said, expect a miracle every single day. Well, July 23rd and 24th at Brevard Worship Center is going to be a time where you can come expecting a miracle. Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. There's nothing more burdensome than symptoms in your body. Not being able to produce, not being able to do what your body was designed to do. But the Bible says, he will satisfy your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. God wants you well and God wants you whole. We believe that. If you've been looking for somebody that will just come into agreement with you concerning that God wants you well, listen, I'll, I'll be the one that comes in agreement with you. You get to the, those meetings, hear the word of God, faith will come, we'll lay our hands on you, we'll release our faith, you'll release your faith as a point of contact, and we're expecting God to confirm his word. Jesus said, if two or three are gathered together in my name and come into agreement, I will be in the midst of them, and they can have whatever they ask. And we're believing that. Faith comes by hearing. We keep saying that over and over again. That's why you need to be in these meetings. That's why we're not doing just prayer requests. There's something about getting your 
loved one, about getting yourself to that meeting, making the effort to be there. With faith without works is dead, and you're saying, God, I'm showing your faith, but my faith by my works. I'm getting off of my sick bed. I'm having somebody push my wheelchair there. I'm going to get somebody to bring me to that meeting, and I'm believing that when I get there, and, I, and I'm going to hear the Word of God, I'm going to have a face-to-face encounter with the living God. Hallelujah. So, one more time before we, we pray for you. We're having a special healing and miracle service at Brevard Worship Center at 6825 Babcock Street, Southeast Malabar, Florida. And it's going to be July 23rd and 24th. July 23rd is a Sunday, so we'll be having a 10 o'clock healing service and a 7 o'clock healing service. And then we're going to come back on Monday night, July 24th, and believe God for your miracle, for your loved one's miracles. I want to pray with you right now. And uh, whatever you're doing, just if you're driving down the road, just kind of focus in and, and get your mind on Jesus and, and, and believe with me in your heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, I am asking you now. Father, I believe that these people are listening by divine appointment. And I know that you want your people well. You told me to go teach people how to get free and how to stay free by the power of Almighty God. And I'm making room for the people to be free from sickness and disease, poverty and lack in these meetings right now. And so, Father, I come into agreement right now that everyone we lay our hands on in these special healing and miracle meetings will be healed and whole by the power of God. I thank you, God, that you're arranging divine appointments right now. And people are going to come from the north, the south, the east, and the west. They're going to bring themselves. They're going to bring their loved ones. They're going to bring the sick and the infirmed. I believe in God that you're going to take people, God, that the doctors have given up on, but you've not given up on them, God. And they're going to come to that healing and miracle meeting on July 23rd and 24th. And Father, we are believing God For the miraculous. You're still healed. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I thank you, Father, that you desire to heal your people. Right now. Oh, yes, Lord. I sense your presence, God, as we pray. Right now, as the people listen on the radio, as they listen, Father, via the the internet stream from this radio station, I'm believing right now, Father, that the same anointing that's in this room for the, to pray for these people is being sensed and understood and received on the airways. And Father, we are believing, God, that you will do what you promised to do. You were wounded for our transgressions. You were bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement that we needed to obtain peace was upon you, Jesus, and with your stripes we are healed. Hallelujah. Some of you are not, you're not even going to have to wait till you get to the meeting. You're taking your healing and your miracle right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Well, this is Tim Finlayson giving you a special invitation to our healing and miracle service. We look forward to seeing you there. Go to BrevardWorkshopCenter.org, find out more information, and we'll see you there. Come expecting a miracle. We'll see you there. This has been Winning Moments with Pastor Tim Finlayson, the radio outreach ministry of Brevard Worship Center located at 6825 Babcock Street in Malabar, Florida. This program can be heard Monday through Friday right here at this same time. If you don't have a church home, we invite you to join us this Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. For directions or more information, visit us on the web at brevardworshipcenter.org. Until next time, remember, every moment in Jesus is a winning moment.